And that's like a little treat for me. After eating the raw, the first bad thing, I think I justified pigging out because I'm like, I already went bad today. Let's kind of just go down this route <laughs> completely. Hey friends, hey friends, good morning. How y'all like my hair? I'm so happy with it. Oh, I'm so happy. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be, do, be doing a bit of like a day in the life vlog. I enjoy doing these vlogs and in these vlogs there's always lots of little stuff to share. It's kind of like where sometimes I sneak a haul. I also have like a thrift store haul in this video for you guys. I actually kind of pre-filmed it but I will insert it in here. It was both like a success and a fail at the same time. Oh my gosh. Shopping at a thrift store is no joke because I am there. Well, I actually didn't go with the kids, so that was good. Hubby had the kids in the car and I ran in real quick. So either way, it's the same thing as like running in to do it, to, to shop with them. Well, maybe it's not as hard, but it's the same concept because I had to rush anyways because the little one was in the car and I didn't want to be in there forever. and until he got cranky and needed to nurse and all that jazz so i um yeah i got some stuff there and i really want to go back there actually they had i didn't get to check out their jeans i've been in search for a pair of mom jeans forever i don't know what's going on with old navy but i've been looking on the site and i can't find any so every time i look there's one in particular that every time i looked it's always sold out so I'm kind of, all my jeans are like very fitted. I've never worn like the mommy mommy ones because I always was under the concept that, especially if you're like a boxier person and you got a boxier shape, it might make you look boxy. So I just wanted to give it a try anyways because I've never actually tried them. So I don't know if I'll ever get my hands on them because it's been basically like months of looking and it's not been there. And then I saw someone showed one from like Zara. I showed a pair from Zara and I was like, huh. I never really shopped there because I, that's my fridge. <laughs> Someone's going in the fridge. But I never really shopped there because I just thought their stuff was going to fit me much smaller. I'm a creature of habit, y'all. I'm a creature of habit. I like, like to stick to what I know. And I don't want to go to my way to buy stuff that I have to run and return every five seconds. Because that seems to be my life. Okay, guys. So this is the top. But I feel like it is way too big. I didn't anticipate that it would be that roomy, but I was hoping I could wear it a little bit on the baggier end, but it is way too baggy, I think. The style itself, I feel like the style is nice. The, the pattern is nice, but it's just way too big, I think. I have to look and I feel like I have to look and see how many other ways there are to wear like an over, a turtleneck oversized. So the next item I got is this right here. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a lace top and it the color is not showing up the way it's supposed to on camera and it's lace all throughout so let's give it a try so this is the next one right here and i have i have mixed feelings about this one because i love i absolutely love the way up here fits i just love this kind of style on me however it's always guilty of doing this it just creates like a full-blown box effect because of the tata so the only way it won't do that is if i actually just not wear like a proper bra which i could probably try maybe a sports bra because it's not needed for these the girls to sit up higher but at the same token like and i'm not even wearing a proper bra right now this is just like this is like a very casual and non-sportive bra so i'm just kind of like confused because i don't know how it's gonna look i think i want to keep this it's not giving me the worst vibes when it comes to this because sometimes they tend to stick out but this is not doing that look how cute it looks up at the top very elegant very cute this is like a polo shirt got it in a size large it's from old navy traditionally and i think it's like it looks really cute on disregard my hair and everything because trying on clothes is no joke but I feel like a I feel like a little prep. <laughs> but I think it looks so cute. I'm really excited to wear this. Yeah, this one is my absolute favorite. I love a good old rugby shirt, though I haven't worn one in a long time. It's super cute. Love the colors. Okay, guys. So I just finished feeding this little boy, and 
now i i'm so hungry i need to eat breakfast if you watch my family vlogs it, i did the same thing yesterday where i didn't get to eat breakfast for such a long time and by the time i got to it i was so hungry i ate the wrong thing and i don't know if i mentioned it on here already but i switched from weight watchers to noom i'm trying it out i it's basically the same thing same kind of fees from what i gather and i guess i kind of like this because it's a package type thing and it's not um some ongoing payment that i have to make all the time so that's besides the point i'm on day two of it i'm trying it out i don't know what to expect but so far i think i kind of like it i don't know what to i i can't really gauge it yet i am very much into the idea of i'm very much interested in the psychology behind it because i am a psychology major and that is the thing that i do like i've already learned a few things since i've started it and for this morning one of the things that i've learned is that um I need to focus more on calorie, low calorie dense foods. And that's like foods that don't have a lot of water and stuff like that. I need to step back from that because obviously it's food that keeps you bloated. It's food that has you, um, it's food that has you at least gain, gain weight. Cause weight isn't just like that. Weight is anything that makes the scale go up. So that's so that's one thing that I'm definitely learning and understanding. So it's kind of having me step back a little bit and think before I run to eat whatever. Now, eating healthy is not my biggest struggle. Typically when I'm trying to lose weight, my biggest struggle is the sweet tooth that just kicks in, in the middle of the day when I feel like I want a little bit of sugar. And then it's a down, once I go there, I feel like it's a downward spiral because I end up just wanting to go back <laughs> and getting more or, you know, just that kind of stuff. It's not like it's a filling food either. It's just garbage and it, hey, hey, where are you going? <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. Where do you want to go? Okay, you go. Go ahead. But yeah, they just don't fill you up and it's just garbage and it's just for the moment and in the moment it does nothing for you later except make you gain weight so that's something that i'm definitely learning um yeah and i yeah i don't know i there it is like learning you really have to be a kind of person that likes to learn i guess because a big part of the psychology aspect of it is like either reading or listening to audio or having to learn stuff and if you're not into that it's i think that it might be a challenge i don't know i'm just starting so i don't know but that's what i've observed i've already put in like 20 minutes into my into at least 20 minutes into myself and when you do think about it in the grand scheme of things it could have been 20 minutes huh thank you this is my breakfast i have a hard-boiled egg in the green thing can you just pass that for me please when you think about it, it is 20 minutes that you could have used to maybe work out or stuff like that. But at the same token, you weren't even doing it before. I wasn't doing it. So it's like, you can always find something to argue about. But the reality is, it's getting inside my head a little bit in terms of uh, making me think. <laughs> making me like reassess some of my decisions. And it's pointing me in a better direction, I guess. I will only time will tell and oh one thing I did too when I <laughs> when I when I signed up I put like the weight that I thought I weighed that I knew I weighed like the day before but mind you I picked out on like eating these uh, breaded chicken and stuff on the weekend and that is definitely not calorie dense so <laughs> maybe <laughs> look at him he's trying to play with my egg <laughs> That's definitely not calorie dense and it's of it's one of those foods that help you retain so much water because it was loaded with salt and yeah and I ate that twice on the weekend both on Saturday and on Sunday it wants you to kind of weigh yourself on the daily and when I did it wasn't nothing near what it well I won't say nothing but it just wasn't in the range that I thought it was oh, oh leave my food alone papa it's not in the range that I thought it was because basically because of what I've eaten on the weekend. So my body's still retaining a lot of water. It's still re retaining a lot of, I guess, yeah, the water from all the salt that I've eaten. <laughs> so my starting number is obviously lower than what it is now. I think I can go in and alter it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. But yeah, 
So I'm kind of off to a rough start. And yesterday was my first day of starting, but it was a rough day. I didn't eat well. I ate chips, which I'm not even like a big chip eater. I ate chocolates. And after eating the raw, the first bad thing, I think I justified picking out because I'm like, I already went bad today. Let's kind of just go down this route <laughs> completely. And yeah, I figured like, I already picked out today might as well just go down that route and keep it going and we'll start fresh tomorrow which I think is probably what a lot of people think when they lose they're trying to, you know to lose weight you're just like you call the day a loss rather than like stopping ourselves and making better decisions along the way I just kind of I was just like it's a bust let's just keep going <laughs> and I ate chocolates and I ate um I ate chips I just did not eat the right things. I really didn't. Yeah, hopefully I can stay on track today. Um, and it's not easy with the little one. I'm starting to eat late. And I'm trying to also drink a cup, like two cups of water before I start eating. I'm challenging myself to do that. I don't, it's not like a part of the plan or anything, but I figure get more water in my system. I probably need more to help flush out what I've eaten on the weekend too, so. <sighs> Um, sir, sir, control yourself. That is not your food, and that is not your stuff. It's just not. Yeah. It's nap time for this little one. And I want to read him this girl's story. <laughs> so, guys, we just came back from the street. I have no... I, um, the last time I vlogged, I think I was showing you guys the items that I picked up from the thrift store, and... They were not all successful, so I, you know, whatever. But anyways, um, that's neither here nor there. I just came back from the mall, did a little damage. I picked up some stuff, got lots and lots of stuff for Christmas. I had basically like a Christmas haul, what I got for Christmas gifts and stuff. It's actually all gonna be from Roots. And this kind of looks bad, because it's not an ad. Uh, it, this is not sponsored, but Roots need to sponsor a girl, because I did some damage in their store in the last few weeks. That's where I've basically been shopping for birthday gifts and stuff. And now I've kind of picked up uh, quite a bunch of stuff for um, the holidays for Christmas. So stay tuned for that haul. I think I'm gonna have to do my Christmas hauls in like a bunch of, uh, I'm gonna have to do them separately because I picked up quite a few things and I, I think I'm pretty much done for like, you know, external members of the family, but I do need to still grab a few things for like my kids and stuff like that. So <laughs> I ran up the stairs twice just now and accomplished nothing. I was actually gonna show you guys what I picked up what I grabbed last night, I went by Sephora real quick because I wanted to try a foundation stick and because time is always scarce for me, I'm always in a hurry. I don't want to spend a lot of time putting on my makeup so I decided to try this Makeup Forever um, foundation stick basically to see how it works. The girl did try to, she swatched me a little bit and it did look pretty good, but I wanna try it in person. I remember back in the day when I did use Makeup Forever. When I used Makeup Forever back in the day, I actually had to use two different foundations to match it so it could actually be the correct tint for my face. So we'll see how this looks because obviously it has to match under foundation, under um, face powder. The one that I've still been using is the Infallible. I'll still use my MAC one here and there. Can you tell I'm out of breath? Just running up and down the stairs. The one that I also like to use is my MAC. It's like old school. It's what I'm used to. And, but this is like my go-to for everyday wear. Uh, I also um, picked up the, what do you call it, the Fix Plus. It's just their mini fix spray um, for to basically set your makeup. Uh, it hydrates your face. I think it kind of gives like a little bit of a dewy look, but not like extreme dewy look. So I got those two things. And that's like a little treat for me as a mom. <laughs> you know, sometimes us mommies need to treat ourselves because our lives are so hectic and busy. Anyways, I gotta kind of get my house back together. Gotta bring these things out of here. And I actually, I'm gonna go grab the Swiffer to go Swiffer my house right now because I have a little one and he needs the floor is clean. I think I, I think I showed you guys that my old Navy Hall stuff came, but I need to double check to see how this stuff fits because in here it does contain pajamas. I said I was gonna do a haul on it, but I don't know. What kind of haul am I gonna do when they're like all the same thing? So also this little headband thing came in the mail. I ordered this from Amazon because I really, I just wanted to find different things to wear on my head. I like to wear my braids as is, but I like to wear them under hats. I like to wear them with, um, 
I don't know. I like to wear them with hats and like turbans. So this is like a, stir a turban. So let's see what this looks like. Wow. Straight out of the package. It's already feeling kind of heavy, which is so cool. It has weight to it. And I like the colors, I think. Let's see. Okay. I think I like it. I'm looking in this mirror. I think I should just take this off and wear my hair down so I can actually see what it looks like. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, because the way I think I would be wearing this would be with my hair down, of course. Mommy? Yes, honey? Mommy, am I your daughter? You sure are. Mommy, can I go on my tablet or no? It's not tablet time yet. Mommy, can mm. I go outside? Can you go outside? Can I go outside, please? This is what it looks like, guys. I actually think it looks really good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> looks really good. Um, There aren't very many colors to select from. I kind of wish they had a solid because that would have been my jam for sure. Just like a solid. <laughs> but then it was. I probably would have just stuck with black. So it's probably not... It's probably good that it wasn't an option. So this is what it looks like, y'all. This is what it looks like. I think it looks cute. It looks really cute. I'm actually really liking it. I'm not wearing anything that makes it pop, but... But this is what it looks like, guys. I think I really like it. And it's solid and it's actually thick so it will act it will protect your ears comes winter and it's actually kind of, you know it's stylish too 